Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to create this striped lemon cake with the candied lemon slices. Apply a little bit of buttercream onto a 12 inch cake board and stick your six inch cake on top. And because we're gonna be filling with lemon curd, it's a very, very soft filling and under the weight of a regular cake, it'll seep out to the side. So you wanna create a dam of buttercream around the outside of the cake and fill in between with your lemon curd. Alternatively, you can mix your lemon curd with some frosting to make it a little bit more stable, but you still probably wanna add a very small barrier just in case anyway. I'm gonna continue this process and layer four layers of cake in total. So it's two six inch cakes that I've baked and I've cut them both in half. I like to bake my cakes in three inch tall cake tins as well. Next, apply a final layer of frosting. Because it is filled with lemon curd, it's super, super soft and your layers are gonna be moving around a little bit. So what I did is I heated my buttercream in the microwave for 10 seconds to soften it out and I'm using a small spatula to create the crumb coat. That way there's a lot less pressure that you have to add with your hand and it's just a lot more stable. Go around with your bench scraper, smooth that down and bring that lip of frosting to the center. Into the freezer she goes for at least 20 minutes. I want it to set really well before I go ahead and add on my final layer of frosting. All the tools used in this tutorial can be found in the Amazon link in the description box below. To create the striped effect on the cake, I've used my double-sided square comb and the thick side. A link to that will be listed down below or in the eye icon above. Go around the cake and smooth it down until you get really clean um, pattern on the cake. This might mean that your buttercream has to be a little bit softer. It might mean that you might go around a fair few times, but the trick to a very neat striped effect is that the layer is neat from the beginning. Bring that lip of frosting to the center. Now, normally I'd go in straight away and pipe the second color in now. However, I am gonna pop this into the freezer to set up because it is gonna be lemon curd frosting and I was a bit paranoid. So once that's set, about 20 minutes or so, go in with your second color. I've chosen yellow because this is a lemon cake. Grab a bench scraper and then start scraping it down. It might be handy to use a metal scraper in this case. I find that if you do freeze your cake first and you scrape against it, it does tend to create little bubbles and scratches in your buttercream. So if you were to use a metal one and heat it under hot water, it'll eliminate those scratches and leave you with a very, very smooth finish. I didn't actually have any problems with the acrylic one, but if you find that you do, metal is a great way to go. Bring that lip of frosting to the center and then back into the fridge she goes to set while we create our decorations. What I'm making is a meringue top, so I'm separating my egg yolk from my egg whites. Prepare double the weight of your egg whites in icing sugar or caster sugar, and then combine it over a double boiler or a bain-marie. Whisk it constantly until it reaches 170 degrees Celsius, and it looks a little something like this. If you were to touch it and run it between your fingers, you should not be able to feel any more sugar granules. That's when you know your egg whites are ready to whip. Let them whip for about five minutes, until they create nice stiff peaks. This was good enough for me. I filled a piping bag with the mixture and then onto the cake. If you wanted those really pretty peaks at the top that are totally long and folding forward, go for a medium to stiff consistency. If you were to go really stiff consistency, you end up having um, a more pointy and less rounded tail on your meringues. Zap it with a blowtorch, make sure that it loses its gloss, that's how you know it's ready, or slightly browned. And then add on your last bit of decorations. I've chosen to go in with some uh, lemon slices that I candied. And I do have a tutorial on this linked in the eye and in the cards at the end of this video. I didn't use any extra buttercream to stick them because they are candied and made of sugar. They are pretty sticky on their own. You can add another row above, which would look really pretty as well, but I just stayed with the one row. And there we have a lemon cake with lemon curd filling and meringues to decorate. 
super, super fun, super easy to do. I also have a tutorial on how to make the lemon curd and I'll link it in the eye above and in the description box below this video. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, then give it a go. And if you do, hashtag Rosie's Dessert Spot so I can see your creations as well. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to do so. We upload a new cake decorating video every Tuesday. Time to cut this baby open and have a taste, I think.